So now he's hand, yeah. So you can walk up to him and grab the cartridge. Yep. Okay. Sorry, robot. So you, you have a few steps you can move in either side, either direction. Like the VR cabinet that's mapped around you, that you can move freely with that. Does he want me to take that? Mm-hmm. Yep. Why not? To open. Your hand's closed right now. There, now it's open. There you go. I like butterflies. <laughs> Can I touch that? It's going to print something out. Keep looking over there. There they are. Ah, it's pretty. Oh my god, this is so cool. Ah. Is that on the screen? I got the butterfly on my mm -hmm. hand. Yeah, I can see what you're doing. Oh my god, this is so cool. You have to stick your finger out. Okay. Your index finger. Yep. <gasps> then it's the, are you getting a picture of the screen? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't wait to show my daughter. Oh, come on, come on. No, come on. Oh, sorry. Yeah, but this one. Oh. Yeah, you gotta remove. I'm Put sorry. it down on the table right now. Just release it, yeah. And then take out the other one. Yeah, just do one at a time. Dennis, this is what you were doing, but much faster. Pretty cool. <laughs> but I'd rather put this down and get the butterflies. Uh-oh. Did I break this? Yeah, you broke it. I was trying to get Dennis to break it, but you ended up breaking it. Push it back in. Just let it reprint okay. and then pull it out. You can pull that out. Yep. Next one. Am I supposed to do something with that one? Mm, no. No, it's showing you what was printed out yet. There you go. Sweet. I'm going shooting next week, then. This is a stress reliever for me right now. You do know that, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Why is this one vibrating? I was giving you feedback. Oh, sorry. The controller that the gun's being fired. So you feel it. It's called haptic. It's a little vibration.
Now what? So you pop the cartridge up and take another one. Can't touch him. He's just outside your reach. Everything flying. You put in the oh, no, it's just like simulating that your gravity is getting low, like you're in some sci fi environment. Now, everything now, gravity got turned back down. Mm -hmm. You yeah, Another one? That's the last one. Gold cartridge. Can't touch it. So the new one, the new tutorial, you yeah. can there's this little I'll put you in the new one. There's an alien you can dance with. You can oh, yeah? his hand. When she's done, I'll ask you to take her out and then I'll get the new the new demo ready. Oh, that's pretty. I'm such a kid, right? Sweet. Yeah, let's see. It's 1 4 p.m. on August the 6th. Oh, like a watch band? Yeah, like Apple Watch. Okay. I wonder if you could actually sit. Uh, I didn't push a chair up to you, <laughs> but yes, there's there's a lot of, so there's seating VR and standing VR. No, like if I want to go and sit on the actual virtual chair, that would be, yeah, that would be, that would be awesome. Yeah. So they're starting to map graphics over physical objects. So like, sure, like a, a real chair would be all done up in this like, um, like a throne or, mm -hmm. or something and you feel like you're sitting in it. The fireplace right there. The fire where Dennis is at. I'm standing right there. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, you wanna play ping pong? Mm -hmm. There's pink pong right there. there. Oh, oh, in the lounge, <laughs> in the dead. Yeah, yeah. So those are all static graphics, you know. You're not playing with them. What am I doing now? You're done. Um, so you can drop the controllers because they're, they're just leave them, just let them hang by your hands. Now take the headset off. Oh. I won't throw the 
Yeah, yeah, just keep that. And while we're just doing demos, so yes, it goes like that. It's your right hand. This one goes. Okay. So I'm just gonna do a quick demo on the quest <laughs> since we're just doing demos. This will just wrap up this part. So this is very similar. The controls, same buttons and feel. So this is wireless. Yes. Standalone, no computer, no phone. Um, so what you just experienced was desktop VR, and then there was a there's a branch of VR which is mobile. Um, so maybe let me just grab that real quick. So then the other branching of headsets of VR is um, your VR which is meant to run on the, I think it's just the Galaxy, Samsung like Galaxy S7. S7, 8, But this is um, more like a lower end, like it's meant to be more introductory to the masses. The phone, I happen to have a, a Samsung, but it plugs in, snaps in. There's already an app on the phone. It's very similar to this, where it's like a library of content. You can buy stuff. You pop it on your head, and this is just a one-hand controller. It's more like a laser pointer. Yeah. It doesn't like simulate the whole hand. Um, and this, it just is tracking rotation. The gyroscope on the phone, it's not tracking position. So you can build to this in Unity. So a conventional workflow is a developer sits at the desktop in Unity or Unreal or what have you. And they're testing, they're using that desktop headset to test their experience in Unity or Unreal. Then they build to the phone and do the final testing if it feels right. So I'm just gonna show you these. I don't know what your school system's gonna get involved with, but here's the upgraded version of Gear VR. It doesn't need the phone. Basically, the phone is in here now. Okay. It's still Android. Um, it still has the same capabilities of Gear VR. Notice that it's still kind of like a, a, a pointer, mm -hmm. a, a simpler controller. And you don't need to snap a phone in, but it's all the same processing power of like a phone, basically. Um, and it's the same thing. It can track rotation, just so not how position. do you get the libraries on there? Or so when you build, you build from Unity or Unreal or anything else, but we're going to be using Unity, you, you plug this into your computer with USB. Your computer will recognize it as long as you set up all the, the other libraries, which will go it. through, and it will load onto this, and then you can test it right on. Okay. And then, kind of where we're currently at of this generation of VR, this is the Quest. It looks a lot like this, and it has two controllers. But, same thing, the computer's in here, it's Android based. Um, you can do stronger experiences in these. You have a stronger processing power, but you're not going to get to the capabilities of this. But you'll you'll see in a moment. It's actually really good. So the process with this is you do have to link it to the phone, and the phone um, says, "Oh, you know, you got to update your firmware and use your library content." And then once you plug get this connected to Wi-Fi, it's all on its own. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create the Guardian system and I should probably, you know, I'm just gonna make this space. And then I'll put you through the demo on this. Okay. And then you've kind of experienced desktop and then you've experienced kind of the best of like mobile standalone. And you kind of can now experience the, the space that VR currently is in. So I've mapped the whole room, but I've got a table right here. But so the Guardian space is good. I'm just going to ask you to let's just move the table right up against here. So these have cameras. I can actually see the space I'm in. Oh, okay. But once I jump into an experience, I will not see the space I'm in. So 
Um, same thing, side straps, top strap, Oops. and high distance. So you should kind of be in this home. I think it was like a fireplace and what have you. Yep. Um, XY. These are the older versions. They will have a right left on them, but here I'll put this in your hand. There's no uh, oops, let me see. Yeah, there we go. A little bit different. A little controller. Put your hands are good. Yep. So you're in uh, the Oculus app. You see um, it's not first contact, it's it's um, there's like a little First steps. First steps. Yep. So I'll just have you click on that. So you're in? Yep, started. Let me know the volume's too loud. There's a volume control. Pretty good. You know, I there's a gap down here by my nose. Yep. So that's that's uh there by on purpose. Oh okay. So that you can look down. So if you um, look up to the sky and you should be able to see me. You see yes, me? I see it. That's why it does that. So you can kind of, you have limited vision. But I can see your legs on the other one too. Yeah. So at least you're not completely blind. Exactly. So this will just guide you through at using stuff, um, interactions. There's like some like remote control blimp. There's like a punching bag and stuff. Then at the end, you, you dance with a little. And this yeah, one, you can actually turn around because there's no sensor. Yeah, the sensors are on. Then it's either turn all the way around. So these little things right there. Okay. So yeah, you're uh, you can do what you want. It's a bigger space. It's the whole room. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. So they're showing me the fence. Yeah, it should be pretty far. Yeah, because I mapped up the whole room. So I think with desktop and this, I think you guys have a good kind of at least introduction into what VR is about, what you're doing. I feel like I feel like we don't really get that hundred percent knowledge or even an experience of what it is we're getting into until you have something yeah. like this. Yeah, you can't watch a video like this. Yeah, exactly. You can't watch something on YouTube. You know. I'm just going to get my car. <laughs> I'm waiting in the camera. Is there an on-off for the left controller? E is it not? It, I don't see my hands. It's not coming up? No. Oh, there it is. Yeah. They have like a ping pong uh, ball. Yeah, if I remember, it was like a, the two tables of stuff around you. Mm -hmm. And so in this situation, I can't see what what's happening, but actually when you pair a phone to this, yeah, you can watch what they're doing on the phone. Oh, you can. Okay. Yeah. But then we're not, even, we're not gonna get to this point either though. No, I'm just showing you all the hardware. Yeah. And it depends what your school system does. I think you're just gonna be desktop-based. Desktop, yeah. 
I know that Seattle's messing around with the Go, and they've got a whole bunch of Go's in their classes. Um, and they're getting into like 360 photos and videos. And, yeah. But I think we're just doing desktop. Yeah, and plus I think Seattle's not just doing VR class stuff. They're incorporating VR into some other class they already teach, is what I kind of sure. gather. Yeah, every school system will be different. You can push it design-wise, programming-wise. You can hear on this one. Were you able to hear on that one? Although there was no noise. So in that one, you have the, 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 the earphones to sitting sit on your ear. This one, that big strap that's going on his head, there's a few holes in it, and the audio is just kind of piping out there. It's actually pretty good, the audio. Yeah. For the He's system of it, it's just a few head. holes in a band. Yeah, the audio is But now, you can plug in, there's like a, an aux jack, you can plug in. On headphones. Like, yeah, nice headphones if you wanted to. shooting tutorial yeah there should have been like a desktop full of activities then yeah shoot yeah shooting's common because uh, it's more advanced hand controls and um, and then the last you should be on like a disco floor or something yeah, <laughs> yeah this one you'll, you'll get you get a lot of fun yeah. So you'll see that kids will start messing with other kids. So one kid will be in VR and the others will kind of like, because yeah. you can start hitting them. He doesn't know where you are. You kind of, it's, <laughs> it's fun to let him play, but then you got to, you know, do the crowd control with them. So. Well, luckily the thing with the students that are coming into these classes are, um, I guess they have to go through a whole, a whole procedure kind of thing. Like you have to have certain classes already, and um, I think even a G, like a grade point average or something. That's what they were talking about. But mo most of the kids that are going to be in this class, I already had them. So that's a big plus point for me. Do you have a list of the students? We need that. I don't have that on me right now. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna Chris will reach out. get it from Power Supply. Okay. But they didn't even do the classes yet. In my high school, they haven't uh, done the classes. Oh, no. oh because the fence is the whole, not the whole room there. He can room it through the whole room, yeah. There's no wires. He's not connected to anything. There's no computer. Well, the computer's on. Purchased the headsets or the controls yet? She's purchasing this week. Um, so that means to be honest, you don't even, as I was telling him, it's you get a foundation in Unity, C Sharp, 3D. VR is just like another the last layer on it. You honestly don't even need to start. You have so much training to do in Unity and 3D. Oh, right. and that's going to be a majority of your class. But I give them the. Uh, yeah. Oh, did you have any questions? Yeah, I didn't see. Yeah, that was yeah. You're you're gonna dance around. But did you? Is there any questions? And then we'll stop the video. Is there any from your perspective, from teachers, administrators, anything that's interesting to document right now? No, I Sorry, feel like it's very self-explanatory. Whereas the um, VR is concern, uh, concerned, setting up is concerned, um, and even just the experience itself, getting in there. I think it's. Uh, 
very self-explanatory and the way you explained it to us, it actually made it much easier. Okay. So you can you can stop the video because 